Yo, guys. Um, so, <laughs> something happened to my. Uh, well, I don't. I don't. I don't think it was in here yet. So I'm gonna just wait. I think I can set this thing up. Yo, Dave. What up? I uh, I had to I had to go over to my phone because my Wi-Fi uh, has been has been having a big issue. So um, I don't know. We'll have to go from here. I don't know how to. I, it was kind of cool though. I'm kind of now I can kind of figure out what's going on. How you do this with the phone? Um, I don't know. I wish. Um, hey, what's up, Schizo? Thanks for coming back. I uh, I was just oh hey guys. Oh, it's good that you guys are all still hanging out. I my computer, um, yo, all right, yeah, learning some new tech. I never streamed from my phone before, so this is pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Okay, so chat. I'm just trying to figure out how I can really access stuff from here. I guess this is pretty much it. But uh, this is cool, though. I, I could I could work with this. Um, so I'll see the chats as they come up, and also I'll try to keep up with what's going on. But yeah, my, my Wi-Fi, I don't know, something happened to it the other day, too, and um, I don't know if I need a new router or if the modem is bad, and I just, it's funny because it's ironic. You can go anywhere with us and look like a crazy person. I should do that, actually. That would be pretty sweet. Um, <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Um, I should do that. I, I was thinking about doing that. Um, it would be funny to go into like a music store too and like test stuff out and be like, yeah, guys, like check this out. It's my new uh, thing, you know? It would be so fucking hilarious. Um, I'm going to do something like that. And actually this weekend I'm going to be recording at my buddy's cabin. Oh, really? Yeah, better. All right. Let me. I think I'm at almost full here. But yeah, this is cool. I'm, um, like I was saying, I'm gonna be going to a cabin this weekend. My buddy has an old hunting cabin in his family and uh, we've gone there once to record. So yes, exactly. We can uh, like go try out some pedals and stuff. And that actually might be cool for um, seeing if the local music store wants to, uh, I don't know, maybe like sponsor the channel or something or like provide us with some gear to test out or if you guys are looking to test out gear, maybe I'll just show up and start streaming like every day and see what they say. Um, but yeah, thanks for thanks for coming back, guys. I'm sorry that my stream dropped out. I need to figure out what. Oh, yeah, you betcha, Dakota. I need to figure out my Wi-Fi situation. What's ironic is that it seems like it's started since I've been streaming. So I don't know if it's just a coincidence or what. Maybe my cable provider is unhappy with my um, live streams every night that I'm using too much data on their end or something. Um, but Or maybe my modem is just crap. I don't know. It's probably more likely the case. But it's just interesting that it... Um, did you try the Ethernet cable? Um... That's a good point, actually. Actually, that's that's true. I did. Um, I do have an Ethernet cable that would probably reach into here. The problem is that it doesn't. Um, my computer doesn't have an Ethernet port anymore. I have one of these newer Macs. I uh, I got a used one a couple of years ago uh, from a couple of years ago, and uh, either I don't have the proper cable to do it. Um, I could try doing it from my old computer. Um, that's a good call though. I'll, I'll have to look into that solution. I think you're actually, you're, I think you're actually a hundred percent right. Um, yeah, I have one on my old computer, but my new one doesn't have it. Um, I think I was saying that because of the, because yesterday if you were, I think you were here, David, and the stream also dropped out, but it came back and I was saying like, maybe I can just hard line it right into the, um, ethernet port. So Maybe that's what I'll I'll try. Um, I'll have to try that out. No, I watched it later like a loser. Oh, okay. You're not a loser for watching it later. Thank you for watching it later. That's awesome. Um, I'm glad to have you here tonight then. I'm sorry that it dropped out. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to figure out a more resilient, permanent setup, I think. Um, but this is cool too. I'm glad to have tried this out. At least I know now how to do this and 
kind of trial by fire. So that's cool. And um, what else? Yeah, I'm going to be doing some live streaming this weekend at this recording thing I'm going to. So that'll be fun too to, to check in with you guys and see what's up. I think it's going to be on, um, well, no, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's going to be like an all night kind of thing. So uh, like Schizo was saying, I'll bring my charger and maybe I'll just leave my phone um, plugged in and charged. I think you can do eight hour streams and when we're going crazy over there, making music and jamming, I'll just maybe I'll just leave the thing up. Yeah, that that that's a great idea. Um, surfing on brainwaves, I'll definitely when we get moving or something, I'll I'll um I'll stream a jam and then I'll give you the tour of what we're doing and uh, show you all of my buds and everybody that showed up and you know how we're recording stuff and uh, it's gonna be really crazy. This is gonna be a really crazy time. So. Um, it's a little secluded, but I'm pretty sure we're going to have service. So, and if not, I could probably use a different phone that has a different, um, one of my friend's phones maybe has different provider service provider. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do it from there, but yeah, I'm going to definitely like stream some jams and just like check in with you guys and show you what I'm up to extracurricularly outside of the channel. I guess it's related to the channel. Um, but I thought it would be a really cool way. I'll bring like a stand have these like um, like clips, like almost like a mic clip for the phone that you can, um, you know, mount the phone to. So that should be really cool. And then I can just like leave it places and, and have you guys watch or I'll just give you a tour or something. And I'll to introduce you to all my bros uh, on this side of the world. Um, it's gonna be really cool. Um, yeah, I'm really pumped to to do that but thanks guys for coming back um the cassette chain project that's what i wanted to discuss tonight i think you guys got the gist of it before the thing dropped out um and then i think the last thing i was saying was yeah that's gonna be so cool um so if you guys aren't on the email chain just email me at 424 recording uh, at gmail.com and if you're interested in doing that and I will add you to the cassette chain project. Um, and then from there we will, I don't know, I'll just add you to the, the list and figure and we'll figure out who's going to be doing what. Um, I hope this isn't dropping out again. I just went from, I had like 11 people to three. Are you guys all still here? Is it, is it like freaking out? It seems, I don't know if it, maybe my phone is just tripping out, but I should still be on here, so... I think it'd be possible to join while it is in progress. If not, I'll do it next time. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. I'm not going to pay attention to that that stuff up there then. Okay, cool. It must just be, I don't know. But yeah, so um, that sounds cool then. Seems to be working fine. Yeah, all you guys are still in here. That's really bizarre. Um, this is cool how this works. I never, um, I've never done this. I see all the chats come up and um, it actually, I think it actually works Oh, cool. All right. So all you guys are still here. Um, I, there's got to be a way to look at the entire chat, but this is cool. It comes up. I can see it. It disappears. So it's more, in, uh, it's more, uh, it, doesn't, uh, it, it keeps me from going off on a tangent and then having to catch up on the chat. So that's cool. All right. So this might be a better way to go for now until I get my um, Wi-Fi straightened out. Uh, maybe it's just a router. Um, I think you, uh, that's what you suggested, right, Dave? Um, I'll have to I'll have to try. Maybe my old computer would be better, you know, because it has the hardwired Ethernet port. Um, I'll have to, uh, maybe I'll try that out. Yeah, that's cool, man. I, this must be the best way to go then with the phone. I, I was thinking, I was talking to my wife today about possibly getting a new phone. Um, I have the iPhone SE, which is pretty cool. Um, but the fact that you can do all this stuff with the phone, it almost, uh, the quality looks pretty good too on this end. So, um, I had gotten that web camera, which, which is pretty cool. I don't know. I guess different, different, uh, ideas, different, different cameras and phones for different stuff, I guess. Um, I like doing the, the camera here at the home base, but yeah, definitely when I'm on the road doing that thing this weekend, that's going to be so fun. And then I really, that's true too. Uh, I think Dakota, you were saying like, I'll just bring you guys wherever and uh, just go live like a crazy person. <laughs> oh, cool. All right. So this is great. 
Um, I'm glad that it's it's a it's a better way to. It's, I'm glad that it's working like just as well. And it doesn't really change too much on my end. I just don't see the entire chat. So, but this is really cool. I'm glad to even just be able to test this aspect out of live streaming now because I um, watch your data on your phone if you're not on Wi-Fi. That's a good call. That's a good call. All right. Well, I won't stay too long. Um, I've I got another like. 15 20 minutes if you guys want to keep chilling um but yeah that's a good point with the data i don't know maybe i can get the the stream working again yo mike have you ever tried any of those teenage oh my god i have really wanted badly to try those um no i i haven't okay so i haven't picked up a 488 we were talking about it in one of the streams it actually comes up in a lot in the streams um I think someone else was saying, I think Twin Reverb said he has one. And I was like, yeah, I gotta I gotta see if I can snag one of those. Um, but then I was like, I don't know if I'd use it because I have two 424s that are in really good shape. And usually the one, I use the Mark III a lot. Um, so I don't have a 488, but if you know anyone who's selling a one for cheap, let me know. Um, I should do some stuff on my Mark I though too. Um, schizophrenic mechanic with the OP or the, the pocket operator stuff. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to try those out. They look pretty cool. Um, I've heard the PO32, I think is, is one of the more complicated, not complicated, but more of the, one of the more, um, versatile ones. Yo, what up, Will? <laughs> yeah, I'm on the handheld tonight. Um, before, uh, I don't know if you were here earlier, but the stream dropped out. Um, I My computer's freaking out. I think my router is shot um, or just can't handle the streaming. It seems like since I've been streaming, the, the router has been having some issues. So it's either that or uh, my conspiracy theory is that my internet provider is PO'd that I've been uploading so much data to their stream, but... I don't know. It's probably just my router being a piece of garbage and a coincidence. But yeah, it's handheld mic tonight, um, which is actually working out pretty well, I think. And it's it's pretty cool in terms of, uh, <laughs> yeah, handheld mic. Man, I got a lot of nicknames tonight. Um, but it's working out pretty good in terms of, um, I'm assuming the sound, like the sound is pretty good on these. And, uh, you know, the camera's looking, I'm sure it looks good. Um, a reboot of your router might help. Unplug it, wait 30 seconds, and plug it back in if you didn't try that already. Yeah, I did try that. Let me try it. Let me see if it, um, let me see if, it, if, it, if it's back. You can see my light right there. That's one of the lights I use for my um, setup. That's funny. Um, you know what? Let me see if I have, I have a, uh, I'll take you guys over here. I have a, um, a little stand in here. Let me grab it because this will uh, actually I, I I can now be um oh yeah where is the cat I don't know where he is when he comes in here I'll I'll uh he's usually patrolling the area right now but I don't see him oh here he comes yo it's Calvin my cat what's up Calvin oh my god he's talking to us what what are you doing. Yeah, he's cute. Yo, Calvin, we're on, we're live right now, dude. Say something. What's up, man? <laughs> I think he's just hungry. Hey, buddy. You can hear him purring. I don't know if you can hear him. <laughs> yeah, he he made that's so funny. It was. Like, your wish was his command there. Um, yo, so yeah, Task Hat, that's a cool name. Maybe I should name uh, the four track that I'm gonna make the Task Hat. That would be cool. <laughs> yeah, so I have the stand. Let me, let me show you guys. I forgot I could do that, that's cool. I got this stand right here, see? It's like a, um, a thing that'll hold the phone. So let me uh, put the phone in there, then, then I can be, I'm no longer a handheld mic. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now I'm just a uh, converted mic stand mic. Now you guys don't won't get seasick. 
This is sick. I, I should maybe just use this. This is really cool. Yeah, so that's one of the lights I use actually in my setup right there. It's usually out of the shot, but since this is on a weird angle, you can see it. I have this orange filter on it right now. And that's for like backlight when you're um, shooting somebody, you know, you want them to pop off the back of your shot. And I, this is what's really cool about the channel is I didn't know anything about lighting until I started doing it. And uh, it's been such an interesting journey in terms of just learning how to do that stuff. All right, I'm gonna try to boot up my Chrome right now and see if the internet's back. Ugh, yeah, it's still just spinning. Like, um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to just, I, you know, that's that's a really good point, Dave. I think you mentioned the Ethernet, and um, I'm just gonna plug plug direct into that. Um, I'm gonna because the, the modem is fine. I think I think it's just a router. Um, one of you guys was asking about the uh, one of the MIDI studios or something. I saw it come up really quickly, and then the cat came in and distracted me. So if that question is still floating around, actually, let me see here. Show, hide, no, I can't, hmm. I'm not sure how to look at the chat from here. Um, what is this? Oh, this is like, oh wow, I can do like a dance party and stuff. <laughs> this is silly, dream. You're in a dream. All your four track wishes will come true. Glamour shot, I don't know. This makes me look really blown out. Beam, what's that one? I guess these are some kind of filters you can use. Kind of like Instagram filters or something. Buddies, oh, bubbles. Hey man, I'm just blowing some bubbles over here. <laughs> Eight millimeter. Oh wow, that looks, uh. Looks like one of those old 50s kind of films. Uh, Dawn, documentary, that's pretty cool. And then I was like, it's a hit record. Um, sepia, silver screen, haunt. Yeah, sorry, I'm kind of playing with this right now. I just noticed this. I, I, so I guess I can do all this stuff. Um, yeah had bubbles face in them i know that's I, I, the first thing i thought of if you guys don't know bubbles i'm assuming you're referring to the trailer park boys character and uh when i first saw bubbles i honestly thought it was going to be like a like bubbles glasses on me or something but unfortunately it's just bubbles which is actually kind of cool <laughs> um but yeah what uh yeah trailer park boys i gotta catch up i'm a little bit behind Yo, so was there a question about the, the 688 or something? I'm curious if you guys, yeah, that show is, oh, it's outside of Canada? I thought it was in Canada with a world map and mark the cassette. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, that's a cool idea. That's actually a trip I took with my wife. We went, uh, we went across the country and that was our path we took. Um, we were able to do that. It's pretty cool. Um, I'll get a little close up with the bubbles on it, but yeah, was, that was like a road trip we did. We actually were able to do it and had take some time off, but yeah, I will definitely, that's a cool idea. Get some kind of map of the cassette chain and, and we can track, we can live track it, live track the cassette chain as it's as traveling the world. I'm using my mouse right now as if I could use the mouse on the screen. That was like really weird. I was like, why isn't this working? The bubble's cool or annoying? What do you guys think? <laughs> Maybe I'll just go to the dream one. This one, I don't I don't think this is the dream one. I think this is something else, but I'm not even gonna go there. Uh, glamour, beam. That looks kinda cool. I don't, I don't know, I, just, I don't know what beam means, but we'll leave it on that one. I got turned onto Trailer Park Boys in 2004 when I moved to the UK. Where, would you, where did you live before that? Bubbles with a fake British accent for reals. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a cool, it's an interesting show. I, I think Bubbles is definitely my favorite character, although I've dressed up as both Ricky's and, Ricky and Bubbles um, for Halloween at different times. Wait, so now my computer is getting messages? What the heck? Wait, now I think it's back and working. This is so weird. I'm wondering, so YouTube is back, but Google is not coming up. 
Commonwealth, but they got some cult fans in the States. Yeah. Um, it started out in Canada, right? Or is it, it's now, it's, it's in the States? Or I thought it was always still up in uh, Toronto or something. All right, so for some, I think it's it's hit or miss, Dave. I would try. Um, I think season four is where it is where it gets better, but yeah, some of it is like a little crazy, or maybe season three. There's one season where it's like it's really it's really good, but um, it's I feel like that's 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 usually how people how people are into it. They're either into it or not. Uh, but I remember. I don't know. I'm pretty sure season four, maybe start there. You, if you know anything about the show, I think that'll be a good place to start. It might be season three, but... Um, yeah, maybe we should just make a channel about Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> Fuck it. All right, so let me, see, let me see. I'm looking at my computer now. It's actually working, but I'm so hesitant to go back to the computer because this is working out really well. But I want to see if I can look at the chat from my computer right now. This is really cool if I can. Um, live streaming. Because I would assume that my computer knows that I'm live streaming from my phone. Stream dropped chain project. Oh, wait. You can do multiple streams? Oh, this is crazy. Okay, so now I'm looking at my computer screen. Um, I'm trying to see. I can see the stream on the computer screen. So this is actually, this might actually actually be better, guys. Um, because I know that this isn't gonna drop out. But yeah, I have to watch out for my um, streamception. Seriously, look at this. There's like a picture of me smiling on there. Um, it's really weird. <laughs> it's like, really weird. Um, streamception, yeah, I like that. Huh. Um, broadcast alert. All right, okay, so now I can, wait, let me see something. I'm gonna try to chat in my own chat and see if it comes up on my phone. That's a test. Yeah, that's so cool. I think this is the way I'm gonna do it from now on, guys, because um, this is pretty cool that I can monitor the chat, my computer isn't freaking out, and uh, I still have the phone going, so. Well, let me see what I missed here. I, there's so much stuff here. Um, yes, this is awesome. Yeah, we'll stream the jams. Less latency. I'm just scrolling back through the chat really quick. Honestly, quite interesting to watch you figure out your setup. Good. I, I hope that. I hope you're not. Uh, <laughs> I hope that's serious because I feel I feel bad that I'm like trying to figure this out. But this is this is what I got to do, you know. I mean, it's like the first YouTube videos I made. Like they're a little shaky, you know. It's like I'm trying to. Um, that's good to know. Thank you, Dave. I didn't I didn't want to like waste your guys' time, but I feel like we're still chilling and talking four tracks. So, but yeah, this is this is really frustrating. Um, but it's working and it's public view. And I, I like that I can monitor the stream from, I can do it from my phone, but monitor it on my computer. Um, that's pretty cool. So like, this is what I'm looking at right now. Um, just chilling with like-minded people. Yeah, for sure. Um, oh, I just got John Pittman's uh, email response. I'm assuming, uh, John, are you still in the chat? Yeah, so now I can see like uh, the, all this stuff. It's pretty cool. And look, now I can see the uh, chat right here too. This might this might be this might work better. Man, that room looks studio sized. I know. I gotta. It's like the perfect size, really. But there's my bed. Um, I got. I just have to move the bed out. Here's like the the stuff. You guys are seeing behind the scenes right now. This is pretty cool. Here's my camera set up and the light. Um, the curtain is pulled back. Let me switch this around. Yeah, I, I, um, the only problem is my beds aren't, un yeah, seriously, I, I'd be good with just a sleeping bag, you know? Um, but yeah, I, this would be a really good room. The only issue is that it's, uh, I live in like an apartment complex. It's like a condo complex. So 
I can't really rock out the jams. That's why I do a lot of stuff uh, direct with my Sans amp. Um, you know, I'm trying. I mean, but you can do. You can do so much now quietly, and I got friends, places I can go, and studios I can go to record drums. So, but I really, that's really my goal too, is to get to make a studio. But it's just, you know, I'm sure you guys know there's a lot of overhead, and uh, it's uh, it's tough unless you have a lot of money um, to spend on them. So, I don't know. I I really would like to have a studio and have my drums set up in here. But it's just I just know my neighbors would would kill me probably. Um, yeah, these hangouts are cool, Dave. Just ch like that's exactly how I feel. That's why it's like I'm I'm I, I enjoy just coming out to these or just streaming these because it's just like I it's almost like just just a hangout, you know. I feel no sort of um, I don't know. It's just really good vibe in here, and uh, it's just cool talking to you guys about all this stuff. I got a standalone garage I'm converting into a studio venue. Neighbors seem cool with the noise so far. That is awesome. That's so good, man. I'm really happy for you. I wish I could do something like that. Um, I'm simultaneously jealous and um, super happy for you. Um, and if the neighbors are cool, then the neighbors are cool. I think certain times a day, I could probably set up my kit and, and do some stuff. And if I don't play that loudly, so if as long as I was playing it like, you know, jazz style, but you know. Oh hey, hey Blitzkrieg. If you're ever in town, you're invited. I'm in Durham, North Carolina. Yo, that would be awesome. I will definitely hit you up on that. Or come to a show or something. Some I have some uh family that lives down there near um um I think the I think it's called Burlington, uh, North Carolina. So, yeah, if I'm ever down there, I'll, I'll, I will surely, surely hit you up. Eastern Kentucky, nice. Cool neighbors are like unicorn sightings, rare. Oh, cool, yeah, Burlington's closed. All right, man, I will definitely, I'll definitely swing by when, you, when you get that up and running. Check out, check out what you got going on down there, surfing. That would be awesome. Um. Just to damp all the heads like Questlove, yeah, exactly. Um, that's actually how I like to play. Um, you know, keep that's that's like the drum sound I've been I've been really feeling lately is more that style. That's sweet, Mike. I'm in Raleigh, North Carolina. Small world. Wow. I got. I'm gonna look at this on a map, dude. This I think this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna have to just watch my usage on the um, the data, but I know we have a big data package. It's it's a long story. Um, so hopefully, I, and it's like if you don't use it, you lose it. So I'm gonna have to just monitor. I'll just I'll just figure out tonight. What's tonight? The uh, twenty twenty third. I'll figure out like how much I'm using or something. Um, yeah, I'm gonna look on Google Maps right now just so I can get like a um, a visualization because I know what what's that area down there? It's like the Triangle, the Tri Cities or something. It's like Raleigh. Uh, it's like Raleigh Durham. Or something, and then uh, we also. Uh, I've also been to Asheville too. That's really cool. I was actually talking to uh, Chapel Hill. That's right. That's right. We were thinking about moving down there at one point. That's so funny. Um, let me let me just look. I don't know what happened here. I went to the wrong thing. Google Maps. Google Maps, and I'll just put in Burlington. Let's see where that is. Burlington. Where are we at? Greensboro, oh, okay, Durham, Chapel Hill. Wait, so I think, um, surfing, you said you're in, you'd never leave Asheville, best town in NC for me. Yeah, it's such a cool place. Um, we were there, The it was funny, we were there the one day that it, I guess it only snows there like two days out of the year and we were there both days uh, last year, so. <laughs> and we didn't really get to hike, but there's so much cool stuff there. Um, Car Carlboro too. I don't know if I've ever been to Carlboro. Um, yeah, John is in Raleigh, so let me look at that. Raleigh, and then um, surfing. You said you were in um, Durham. Okay, yeah, you guys are really close by. We should do some four track meetups down there. Maybe we'll do a uh, 
uh, a, some kind of four track uh, meetup in that area. That would be really cool. You know, we'll find a place to hang out and uh, just talk four tracks. Maybe we'll do some recording or something. That would be awesome. Go see the percussion festival in June. That would, oh, that sounds cool. Hey, Pete, 12,000. You came through last night, but we were sh closing up shop. So I'm glad you were able to come through tonight. Very, very good. Lots of cool venues and guitar music store. Uh, disappeared. Um, this is awesome, monitoring the chat like this. Yeah, thanks, Pete. Thanks for coming back through, man. I'm glad you could catch it. Uh, we had some issues with the stream dropping out, so I'm testing out my phone setup, and then I have on my computer right here, I'm monitoring the chat. I don't know if any of you guys do the, do the live streaming, but this is a really cool way to do it. Um, I would recommend this if you're ever doing stuff like this. Um, live stream is really cool. Um, oh, there we go, back. Um, Carl Burrow is a tumor on Chapel Hill. Yeah, John, hit me up. YouTube Blitz, if you can make the trip down. Yeah, Blitz, you said you're in, um, talking to, you were asking if anybody knew women. I think I've heard of that band. And then you were saying that you're in Kentucky. That's really cool. We gotta do like a 424 uh, tour or something, and we'll just, uh, We'll just come through with the four tracks. I'll get Jay. We'll, I mean, Jay and I will take a road trip, and we'll just uh, just hang out and record or something. That would be really cool. Um, yes, right, right on, surfing. On. Yeah, let's. You guys should do that, man. And then uh, let me. And then I'll come through too at some point. This would be a good time of year because it's so cold here. Um, dude, yeah, man, I play. Oh, cool. Dude, yeah, this is this is gonna be awesome. Um, yeah, this is so cool that you guys are, are so close by and then you can, now you can explore your common interests together. That's so cool. Um, Eastern Kentucky. How, is that pretty close to you guys? I'm, I'm, uh, my geography is, oh wow, yeah, you guys are all really close together. That's funny. Pretty close. I mean, Eastern Kentucky. Daniel Boone National Forest, I'm seeing. Um, yeah, cool. Man, this is really cool. We got a lot of, uh, different geography here. Um, yeah, Pete, I don't know. Have you, uh, have you, have you guys ever been to the, the Moog factory down there? When I was down there, um, last year, I stumbled upon it. I'm in New York, Will. I'm like an, I'm like a, a hundred miles north of New York City in upstate New York, Hudson Valley. Um, yeah, that place is sweet. The Moog, the Moog factory. Um, yeah, it's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that's why. <laughs> Will, you're over in UK, right? You're, are, you, are you outside of uh, Derby or is that Joel? I took a tour at Moog. Also make noises down there in Asheville. You don't have a New York accent. Oh, thank you. I think, right? I don't I don't think I want a New York accent, right? Um oh London, okay. Hundred right, schizo's uh near New Orleans. But you're are you in you said you're in Mississippi, right? You from the city or the state? Is, is that Manhattan? It's confusing. Um Manhattan is the same as New York City. It's just another name for it. I'm I'm from like east of the city, but I moved upstate. Um, so now I'm north of the city, like halfway between New York City and then there's another big city called Albany. They did a Moog demo at a club a couple of years ago and lived there with a big custom modular set. There was huge noise, all kinds of cables. South Carolina, wow, you, this is crazy. You guys are all in like the same area down there. I think I think we're gonna have to do a 424 tour, guys. This would be really cool. We'll just like set a location and and we'll like meet up and and we'll bring all the four tracks, and just and just like park them out some outside somewhere like old cars. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm sure Moog is everywhere down there. I mean, these guys would be the guys to ask. Um, but I was I was like. I was blown away when I, when I saw that factory. I was like, oh my God, they gave me like a little tour of the back and showed me all the parts and building the uh, synths. And I was like, man, I really wish I could get one of these synths. They're expensive, but uh, 
you know, that's really cool that they're still made in the U.S., yeah, the factory is in Asheville. It's crazy. I was I was saying how I was visiting some people down there. My family and I, I was visiting some family down there, and um, my sister's fa um, my wife's sisters, and uh, it was really crazy. Like we were just walking around, and I saw that I saw the Moog factory from far away, and I was like, "Is that like still there?" I thought I almost thought it was like closed, and then I like rolled up to it, and I was like, "What? This is insane!" I I was like. So na naive, I didn't even know that that was there. And then I walked in and it was like a, it was like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Behringer Model D. Is that, that's that synth they put out, right? It's like an analog synth. Yeah, Hadesburg, Mississippi. The University of Southern Mississippi is here. Brett Favre. Beth, Brett Favre lives right up the road. I am about one hour from Asheville. It's a clone of the Mini Moog. Let me look it up. This is cool too, because now I can stream from here, and not worry about my computer freaking out. Um, this is this is gonna be this just revolutionized my workflow right now, guys. I don't know if you guys realize that. This using the phone and the computer simultaneously, my computer's not freaking out. I'm able to use the camera on here. I feel kind of silly for buying or getting that camera as a gift now. My my. Um, webcam but hey maybe i can figure out a two camera setup now that would be really cool too man see this is why why i kept wanting to do these like in a row because it's like i feel like i'm just my knowledge of live streaming is just like racing upwards it's amazing um yeah you guys just <laughs> saw 424 streaming history being made um behringer d is a badass i gotta look at this thing Behringer Model D. Analog, oh yeah, that it does, it is, the styling is very similar to uh, the Moog stuff. I, I could see what you mean. You said it was like a cop, a clone, right? Oh wow, this looks pretty cool. Huh, I wonder how it sounds. Do you, do you, any, do you have it? Do you, any of you guys have it? The, the uh, Behringer D? Critter Pocket Piano, you can run it through a guitar and pedals and get some cool synths out. Plus it's small, very cheap. Oh, it's not out yet, okay. Um, oh yeah, okay, it says sh it'll ship in 2018. Oh, wow. Yo, do any of you guys, um, this this makes me think of uh, Nam. Do you, do, have any of you guys ever been to Nam or, uh, not Vietnam, but uh, Nam as in the, uh, as in the, um, the music fest or the music show thing. Cause I know there's one that's going down in like a couple days. Yeah, I wanted to go too. I, I've never like, um, I was at NAMM in 72. I lost my money in NAMM. <laughs> you guys are funny, man. Um, yeah, I could see NAMM being a problem. Uh, all, 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 all meaning of the word. Um, but also Nam as in the music show, yeah. It's like it seems it seems like a really good idea to go. Oh, Nashville in Nashville, Tennessee last year. Oh wow, you went there, Exodus? Hold on, I gotta get the chat back up. I'm still still trying to figure this out. This is sick though. I can monitor the chat from here from my one station, my workstation, and then I can talk to you guys from here on the phone. And my computer, it's probably a lot quieter because my computer is not freaking out. It's awesome. My friend did. Oh, that's awesome. Is it is it always in Nashville or does it move around? Like I know one of them, the one I, I was actually considering the the winter one. I know is in An Anaheim or it was in California. I have a friend that lives in L.A., so I was almost thinking maybe I could go hang, crash on his couch and and then head down to Nam. But um, it's heavy hardwood. You gassing about anything at the moment, Mike? Yeah, I'm still thinking about that electron stuff, man. Um, I think I'm just gonna get a diggy tact. That that seems to be the best thing. And my music store nearby is pretty sweet, so um, they're gonna, you know, they let they let you return stuff after a couple, like after trying it out. So I might, I think I might just get one, try it out, and see if it's for me. You just got a diggy tack? That's awesome, Pete. How do you like it? I um, I've really been wanting to get a hardware drum machine and a sampler. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad that uh, you're giving me the thumbs up on it. Wow, that's cool. 
Now, do you have to update it? I know there's like an update for it or something. Um, I have heard of the T60 Blitzkrieg. Um, I've never played one, though. PB made in Meridian, Mississippi. That's crazy. Yeah, yesterday we had somebody, or a couple days ago we had, I forget... Somebody, somebody was in the was in the chat that works at PV because I was talking about my um, backstage plus. I'll have to go back and look through the videos, um, and they were saying that they work for PV and like their office is right down the hall from I guess Hart Hart Hartley PV I guess is the guy, um, or he could like can can talk to the guy or something. I don't. know. It was crazy. I was just like, yes, yeah, John Paul Dove. It was nuts. He was like, out of nowhere, it was just like, yo, I. I work at PV. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, I'm streaming this from the PV office. So maybe we get him in here and ask him about the T60. Hopefully he watches this in post and then hears us talking about him and that we were wanting to talk to him about it. That would be really cool. It was just like such, it's such a small world. Like look at the, the Raleigh Durham thing. That's insane. Um, that guitar practically makes its own distortion. I bet. I bet. What kind of pickup is in it? Is it like, um, are they like some different wound pickups or is it, is it, oh, humbuckers. Okay. That makes sense. I gotta, I'm going to get a picture up here for reference. And, uh, what's cool is that my computer won't freak out because it can, because it can handle, uh, web searching. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These are cool guitars, man. The PVT 60, maybe between 76 and 87. Perhaps PV's most prominent solid body guitar. Grievously overlooked when examining historically great guitars. These things are cool. PV amps from 70s and 80s are indestructible. Fly out of back of truck, pick it up, still work. I bet. That's even I even have like my 80s PV amp I got from my bot my old boss, and uh it's just like a backstage plus, and the thing is like it's sitting right here actually. Actually, this is cool too. I can show you guys. It's literally right here next to me. This is my uh backstage plus. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen the how to do vocal distortion video, but that's what I use. That's I got the idea from the strokes, Julian Casablancas. Um, I was reading about their vocal sound, and it turns out that a lot of their stuff was either recorded through this or they practiced through this or they had one on stage, apparently. I don't know, I might be making that part up, but I'm pretty sure that this is the thing. But um, yeah, this is the vocal amp I've used. Um, and that's where I got the idea from, was from those guys. And uh, I was reading an article somewhere and it said, when they were recording, I think, is this it? Um, they just couldn't match the sound of this thing. And they, like they were, Julian was just like, I need to use that. Um, I mean, I'm paraphrasing a little bit, but, uh, it's a sick amp. I, I recommend it. This thing is extremely indestructible. Um, it's a really cool amp and it's great for that. But if you want to check that video out, I think it's, uh, how to get vocal distortion. And then I got my, my vibe champ over here. This thing is fucking sick. Um, I think it's plugged in. Um, I'll have to do a video. I'm going to do a video where I'm playing this thing. Because right, it's kind of late here. My neighbors will kill me if I plug in. Um, but as you can see, I actually have it set on 10 right now. Just so you guys know how I roll. That's how I roll right there. Um, I'll warm it up. Maybe we'll do something in a minute. Um, yeah, but so that's I got my two little amps here. These are some of my favorite little amps that I got. Yeah, the silver face is great, man. I, I, then they're they're still relatively cheap compared to the black face ones, and the brown face, and you know all the earlier ones, the tweed ones. You know, so it's like. Um, let me see what's going on in the chat because I just got up. But see, this is what's cool is I can monitor the chat. Solid state crate, yeah, crate stuff too, right? That's it's pretty solid. Pretty solid state. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, yeah, thanks, man. The the label is like the. I'm assuming you're talking about the the PV um, logo. It's like, oh man, I don't know. I don't know. That's the only thing I think deters a lot of people because it deterred me from PV for a long time. Was just the look of that logo. I was like, how could this stuff possibly be cool? Like, look at this logo. But I guess it's for like a certain like metalhead type crowd. 
But as you can see, I think it's a vast, and I say that in the other video, I think it's a vast improvement without that, uh, yeah, MTV designed it. <laughs> it's a vast improvement without that on there, I think. Yeah, 1982 designed it. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Hopefully we can tell... I think I, t I got to tell John Paul Dub that. I'm going to say, John, I, I mean, how could, how does anybody take your company seriously with this logo? <laughs> that's kind of mean. I'm sorry. But I got I had to say it. That's that's how I feel about it. Um, wait, I got to I got to I got to catch up on this on this uh, chat because I'm like the cord prologue. Uh oh, what is that? You guys are crazy. Okay, I lost my money in NAM. Yeah, that's where I left off. Korg Prologue. Let me check that out. That's why I wanted to have a um, gas support group on here that's on like one night where we're just like, oh, I can't buy anything. guys. You guys got to talk me down. I'm buying stuff. Another pre-order. Man, you guys are really on top of the, the new stuff. I got to... I try to unplug my computer whenever I start gassing because it gets bad. Um, and I fight it, you know, I don't, I try not to get anything anymore, but I think I'm going to, I'm going to wind up getting a diggy tax or some kind of electron machine. Cause I want to try something new, you know, um, this looks really cool. The prologue. I'm going to have to look into this polysynth 49 full size keys. Wow. They're actually doing full size keys now. Good job, Korg. Um, wow. FM synth. Wow, that looks pretty cool. I'll have to look into look into some of this stuff. I'm glad that they're bringing back all this this analog stuff because the prices on some of the analog stuff is insane. I mean, this is still fifteen hundred bucks, but uh, you know, to get some of those, old, I'm sure that's. I mean, hopefully, it's more reliable. But some, I was looking at. I always wanted to get one of those like Juno sixties or whatever. Those are really cool. Or one hundred six. Those are. Um, they're not Korg though. But I always wanted to get oh they're rolling uh, rolling whatever. Um, all right, wait. I gotta go back to the, the stream here. Oh, you have a one oh six. What? I want that. I'm come. I'm gonna come to the UK and steal that from you. Um, Nam. Okay, your friend went to Nam. Oh yeah, we were talking about the T sixty. Oh yeah, very creative box. All right, I gotta get the diggy tax. That's that's my next purchase. I'm just gonna do it. All right, yeah, distortion. Now a lot of China QC is different now. Yeah, those pickups are sweet humbuckers. I live about an hour from PV. Oh, wow, I didn't know PV was down there. Yep, okay, that's that's what got me off track. I was the, the PV Amsterdam Indestructible, and then I showed you mine. Now you can multi-tab Google Foo carefree. Yeah, this is crazy with this multi-tab Google stuff. Um, I have like four or five tabs open, and my computer is not making a peep. Um, yeah, PV does do good stuff. I, I, I've come around to realizing that. Um, but, you know, it, it took me a long time because of that logo. I hate to say that. I hate to be so, um, don't judge a book by its cover, but. Um, the new Yamaha Rev Stars. Oh my God, I don't even know what some of this stuff is. I don't, I don't, I don't think I want to know because I'll probably just wind up trying to get one. <laughs> Yeah, silver face stuff is great. Um, great transistor. Yeah, some of the, the early solid state stuff is great, man. It's like, and so, I don't know, like Jay has a couple solid state amps that it's a, he has like a old Univox one, and it's this small amp, but it cranks. I don't know what it is. It's like just an early transistor amp, and it's like loud as anything. I'm sure he modified it because that guy knows what he's doing with that. I'll have to see maybe could borrow it from him. Yeah, Princeton's a cool amp. Uh, I acquired a Mark... Oh, hey, Taze. Um, glad to see you back. I'm glad you catch in the stream again. I acquired a 424 Mark II. Found you during researching the task amp. Cool. I want to record my three-piece band with it. Have you cut any live band tracks? Any links to the tracks? Basic one, the two mic recordings so far. Um... I have to. I'd have to get a CD burner to burn some of my old stuff because, uh, with the new computers, the they don't have CD burners. Um, and then I don't know if I know anybody that has a CD burner anymore. But basically, what I'm saying is, yes, I do have live band recordings, 
But you know what? Maybe I'll just make a new one. Uh, so many of you guys asked about that during the giveaway, so I'm gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna have to do something with that. I've been meaning to make like a little course on it or some kind of extra type video um, that would be like a series about it. But I haven't. I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah. So basic one to two mic recording so far. I would try to get your bass and your. I'm assuming okay three piece. Yeah. I would, I would try to get your bass player and the bass amp somewhat close to the drums and then use one mic to try to capture well I don't know if you're only do you have vocals too um, that might make a difference but I was gonna say if you have two mics I would I would try to get one I would try to just get a good mix of the instruments and then uh, maybe do the vocals on the other mic um, you were born in 82 that's funny. PV isn't a brand that ever impresses, but they make decent stuff. Yeah, it's solid, like, uh, working man's stuff, for sure. And it's like, this thing is, is, a uh, is, like, really solid. Skinner, I use the PV, I didn't know, not know that. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely stealing your Juno 106. I'm trying to catch up on the, on the chat here. The, you're gonna get the EHX 95,000, huh? That thing looks pretty sweet. Maybe you could get the 45,000. I think I suggested that to you probably cheaper now and you can get a used one so um let's see pv equipment just gives a real good balance between a clean yeah th that's a good point plus krieg um my this little backstage plus has a really cool circuit well it's just a distortion circuit i guess if it's called saturation i think a lot of the 80s pv stuff has it and uh i think i was telling that story the other day like one time i was playing it at my practice space when i first got it and my bandmate had come in and he didn't know what I was using. And then he just came over and was like, what is that? You know, and we had a bunch of vintage amps there and tube amps. And he was like, what are you playing through? It sounds great. And I just showed him that it was that. And he was like, it was like one of those things he didn't, since he didn't see what it was, he just let his ears, trusted his ears. And he was like, yeah, it's, um, I can't believe that's that little PV. I was like, yeah, it's a cool amp. The Boutique JU06. Yeah, I was looking into those little guys. I thought those were pretty cool. I just, the fact that I had to get like another keyboard though turned me off like to 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 um access it. Oh, it's all good on PV tangent. I love talking about my PV stuff or my PV amp. Is it a U one fifty R two by ten? My my go to amp at the moment is Fender Blues Breaker. Oh, Bass Breaker. Oh, I've never heard of that one. Jimmy Chain Jimmy Page Room Mic Genius. Yeah, see what he's got to say about it. I have the head plugged into a closed 212 cab. That's cool. I saw you record tunes in both Logic and the 424. Why do you choose one way or another? Um, I don't know. I feel like there's certain things you can do on the 424 that you can't do in Logic and vice versa. You can't, there's certain things you can't do in Logic that you can do on the 424. Um, yeah, that's a really good point. Um, Exodus says, four track forces you to make decisions, limitations are creative catalysts. That's a really good point. So like, for instance, if I was working in Logic and I don't know, I had too many tracks on a song or it just wasn't working out, I would then try to make that song, figure out what were the best elements of it and then record it to the four track. Also the four track, I notice I always perform way better when I'm recording to the cassette. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because I'm not, have my head in the screen and thinking about the screen and looking at the screen. But, um, and the recent stuff I've been doing, I was doing in Logic, I guess just because, I don't know, it was just, this is where I was at at the moment. It was like a little easier and I was trying to use the same kind of workflow that I used on the four track. I, that's why I keep going back. Cause it's like, I feel like I'm learning. I feel like you really learn how to get the sounds right when you do the four track. And then when you bring those to the digital world, they can sound pretty cool too. Um, and I guess it was just also for the ease of, um, I, I, cause I thought that using logic would, would speed up the process, but it's actually slowed it down. So yeah, I would say as a songwriting tool for sure. And then depending on what I want something to sound like, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's cool to use both in different situations. Um, but I think Exodus's point is definitely the biggest takeaway from it. Um, it definitely forces you to make decisions, but you can still do that in Logic, you know, limit your projects to eight tracks and see what happens. Um, 
All sounds on Led Zeppelin albums are room miking knowledge. Yeah. Ju6 accepts MIDI, so if you have a MIDI compatible keyboard, you can plug it in. Yeah, see, maybe that, maybe yeah. See, I'm I'm kind of MIDI. Uh, I don't know anything about MIDI. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a big um, pronouncement here. Um, I used to record. Wait tracks on the task and like drums and bass yeah that's a good point too will um i think oh man i lost i lost the chat here a lot going on i'm trying to catch up. oh yeah Pete. yeah Pete. that's another good point it it certain the tape compression seems to glue it together the cassette tape if you hit it right and uh just it definitely gives it warmth so it's kind of like you can use the four track almost as a compressor if you if you're hitting the tape hard enough. The cassette tape. That's a good that's a good idea too. Is using that's what I like to do is utilize both, bounce them to Logic to overdub or bounce mixes out, you know. And to use all four track, getting the vocals to ring clear while live seems like the challenge. Yeah. That's why I was saying, Taz, um, or Taz, I'm sorry. Um, I would definitely try to get a good mix of your uh, instruments. You know, maybe have a fourth person walk around your room as you guys are playing and determine where stuff sounds good. Um, but the the best thing I can say is try to mix mix it in the room as as best you can and get your levels good. Just all four track, getting the vocals to ring clear, yeah. And that's what I was saying, maybe you just use the last mic for vocals, you know. But it depends what your what your band, like what you guys are really going for, you know. If the vocals aren't as upfront as they would be in like pop or rock or indie rock, then um, maybe you could just put them through the PA and then um, it's just set up, just set up the mics in, in two areas to try to capture everything. Oh man, you guys are really pumping here with the questions. I gotta, I gotta catch up. Um, the used forty five thousand are still going for four hundred. I would still need to buy the necessary foot switch with it. So the, okay, that's a good point. I'm not gonna argue with you. <laughs> Listen to mix in the dark lights. You will hear stuff you don't normally hear because when you cut off one sense, yes, that is very true. And music is all about your um, ears, man. Why are you going to complicate it by looking at a screen? Taze overdubbing vocals for clarity. Yeah, that's true too. That's a really good point. You guys are you guys are have some really good ideas here. Um, have you ever considered the digital task cams? I have used one of those actually. I forget which one. It's like the Neo. And uh, they, that's pre they're pretty cool, the, the digital ones. Um, I just still have my 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 cassette ones, so it's kind of redundant. But um, there's a lot. You, it's the same idea, you know. You, you're the, especially the ones that they have very very minimal screen. And um, I've made some really cool recordings with those in bands. I'll have to put some up somewhere. Um, but those that's a, those are great too. Uh, if you if you want to stay out of the box, wait, yeah. Yeah, maybe run their vocals through the PA and also out of straight PA into one of the channels. Try to isolate monitors a bit. Minimal vocal bleed. Yeah. Yeah, you could run the put the PA in a different room or run run the vocals into like a smaller amp or um, a smaller speaker that you could isolate and just mic that up. Pitch down guitars and drums sound huge on tape. Yeah. Yeah, good call with the PA. Um, I have Tascam DP24. Cool. How do you, how do you like that? I have the first generation Tascam. Oh, wow. That's cool. Yeah. Those, I think those are pretty cool. Some of those, um, digital Tascams cause they're same idea. You just don't have the cassette. I use that to transfer because it records eight tracks. That's really cool. What do you think of recording in carpeted rooms? Um, I don't know. What do you think? I always listen to my final mixes in the dark with my eyes closed. Great point, Exodus. Yeah, for sure. That is a really great point. I use it alongside my four. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's good to utilize them both together. Yo, you guys post links to your music if it's out there. Yeah, you guys should do that. Dakota, I think, he, I don't know if he's still in here, but he was saying that uh, before the stream dropped out, 
we should do a stream where we're just sharing all our stuff and getting feedback. I think that's a really good idea. Uh, I, that's what I started writing down, and then I think I was talking to nobody for like 10 minutes because it dropped out. But, um, guys, I gotta, I'm gotta. i going to have to cut this short because I went like a half hour over what I said I was going to do. Um, but we'll be back tomorrow at some point. If you guys want to just say around the same time, this one, a lot of you guys seem available now, and now that I've been doing it, I don't want to switch it up at the time, but sorry about that stream dropout, but honestly, we discovered that this method works possibly even better, so this is really cool. I wish I had known this. Um, thanks, Blitzkrieg. It's good to, good to meet you, man. Um, let's, say eight, let's say eight to nine for now. Um, that seems to be a good time. Works for me. Works for what's going on with my other commitments. And uh, sorry I had that drop out before. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for sure. Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern. Yes, I should, I should really um, get in the habit of saying that. I, I keep forgetting some of you guys are in the UK and stuff. In Belgium and whatever. Um, or the west coast of the states. Um yeah, let's do, let's do 8 p.m. Eastern. That seems to be working the past couple nights. Yeah, good night, guys. Um, thank you for coming out. Thanks for putting up with the technical difficulties. I'm going to see if this... I don't know if it's going to save them as one or I'll just have two. Who knows? Um, yeah, this is cool. I, I, this is a really cool thing. I'm going to definitely be um, using this stuff together like this. This is great. You nerd. Yeah, big thanks, man. I um, I hope that helps you, Taze. Um, and I'm glad we, we got some gassing in and, and got some gas support in here. All right, guys. Yeah, have a good night. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw the exit music on. Um, yeah, so check out the Patreon if you want to support. Or there's some cool rewards. I changed up some of the stuff. Um, there's t-shirts if you want them, shop.spreadshirt.com. Um, I don't know, but really just thanks for coming out. Uh, the Bandcamp, we're going to be using the Bandcamp for the, the cassette chain project, so that's going to be cool. Uh, good hangout, guys. Uh, let me throw the music on. And, um, yo, good ideas tonight, as always. This is really sick. Um, if you want to be part of that cassette chain project, just hit me up, 424recording at gmail.com. Um, yeah, later dudes. Good times. All right. Peace out, guys. Good night.